VRChat is a new open beta. I don't have my little character today because I'm having issues with that program, but I have supplied a small PNG to wiggle around some as I talk. This open beta actually largely consists of small fixes for the client as they prepare for the upgrade to Unity 2019, but we also got a lot of updates to the Udon graph, and that's mostly new features and additions for existing features. So let's just jump in on those. The first one we have is added dropdown menus to set program variable, send custom event, get program variable, and their variations. You can now see a list of target variables and events if the node references a valid Udon behavior. So if we go into our graph here, you'll see what that means quite quickly. Instead of just a event name where you could type something in as a string, we actually have a dropdown that finds any events that exist on an Udon behavior. Right now, since I don't have anything listed in instance, it's just referencing this Udon behavior. So I actually have one right here called custom event, which just does a short debug log. And since we have here custom event, we can actually go through this dropdown and select custom event. And this is the event that this node now calls, instead of us having to type it out and hope that we spelled it the same. This also works for other Udon behaviors as well. I have the toggle game object Udon behavior that is supplied with the SDK, and I have that just as a variable named behavior. So if I just drag out from behavior and plug that one in to instance, you'll see missing was custom event. That's because the previous one was a name that doesn't exist on the new script. But I can drop it down to toggle and then select the event that we actually want. Now, you may notice on our behavior, we have a dropdown where we can select any of the variables that we have in our graph. But it says behavior here, and it says dash, 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 dash here. This dropdown is actually one off from what it's supposed to be. So if I hit behavior here, it shows bool variable. Basically, go by the name of this one instead of what you've actually selected here. This is just a bug for now, and I'm sure it will be fixed by the time this actually releases. This dropdown feature also exists for set program variable, so you see it here. And if I plug this in here, you'll see the variables here, which is just target game object on that one. And if I unplug it, you'll see we're back on the normal ones that we had on this suit on behavior. Next, we have the set variable node now has a send change checkbox, which will trigger an on variable changed event for that variable if it's checked. Now, there's a lot going on there, so let's just break that down. When we set the value of a variable, so let's say I want to set the value of a bool, and I have it set to bool. This one also is one off from what we want it to be. So let's just get a constant bool. We'll drag out from there and do boolean constant. And this is just a constant true or false. If we set this to be false and send, send changed, this will actually trigger an event on the other script or on this one that makes it much easier to track and respond to a changed variable. Checking this will actually send an event to the same Udon behavior as the variable to say, hey, act now because we've changed something. This makes it really easy to act depending on whether a variable has changed. To get that event, you just alt drag out from the variable that you want. So I'll alt drag from bool variable and we have bool variable changed. This event happens whenever this variable gets changed and the send changed is checked. Then you can act depending on what it is and what it was. Though you probably will just be using what it is now. And that is going to speed up my upcoming tutorial on the new networking, because this is probably the biggest update that we have in this patch. I covered this next node here in what I was talking about for the set variable. So let's go on to the next one. Changed behavior to reload graph after renaming or deleting a variable. Basically, the issue used to be if I, let's say I had an aim constraint variable and I, oh, I don't want this anymore. I'll delete it. It didn't actually delete from here visually. It compiled correctly, but you wouldn't be able to see any of the changes until you hit reload up here. That's just a, a nice little fix. Added post late update, an event that will happen near the end of the frame after IK has been calculated. Getting bone positions at this time will give you the most up-to-date positions so they are not a frame behind. 
when we have events that happen every frame, it goes in order of update and then late update. Doing things at, in late update was typically how we would get the most finalized version of things. But specifically doing that for avatar bones and the likes, you would instead get what the animation for the avatar was supposed to be instead of what the IK was doing for VR players. So to fix that, we have a third event that happens after these two called post late update, which will be really useful for that kind of stuff and probably means that no one will use late update anymore. <laughs> and lastly, fix Udon crashing with a null reference exception when checking destroyed instances of classes that inherit from unity engine.object for null. Thank you, Merlin. I don't know what that means. Probably some issue with deleting things. Uh, and Merlin, the Udon Sharp guy, fixed it for them. Hooray! So yeah, that's it. The unvariable changed is absolutely the biggest part of this, and I'm pretty much going to be using it in all of my videos going forward that have to do with variables. So that's um, probably going to be all of them. So that's going to be fun. All right, so that's it for this open beta. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>